Hello. Today, for our final project in macroeconomics class, we will talk about the economic situation in Ukraine. As you probably know, revolution in Ukraine took place in 2013 and 2014. In November 2013, Yanukovych, the Ukrainian president, refused to sign the contract with the European Union about free trade and, as a result, some students went out to the main street of Kiev and protested his decision. To stop this, the president used excessive police force where police literally beat down the students. After these news went live, almost a million people came to the streets to support these young people. This sparkled the revolution where goal was to change the corrupt government and to become a part of EU. The general assumption was that life to become easier and better after the revolution. They fought and they died for this goal. However, for now, a lot of things are going worse than it was before. On a larger scale, Ukraine is vulnerable to Russian expansionism because it is poor and therefore cannot compete with its better armed eastern neighbor. And this low economic development comes from a failure to reform the Ukrainian communist era economy after the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. As you can see on this graph, the GDP of Ukraine fell drastically right after the revolution. Economists forecast that Ukraine will reach the level of economy that was before the revolution only by 2025. The close relationship between Ukraine's businessmen and politicians had a big impact on institutional development in the country. Thus, Ukrainian governments often support extractive economic institutions, which leads to low productivity. Today, the rule of law and democracy in Ukraine is lower than most other European countries. Many macroeconomists think that in order for Ukraine to be more economically stable, it is important to make big fiscal and structural reforms. They suggest creating fiscal space for more effective public investment and also improve the efficiency of health, education and social assistance. What makes the situation in Ukraine even worse is that it has to meet repayments of external debt of banks and corporates amounting about $8 billion per year during 2016 and 2018. To do that, it will require huge external financing. So, as a result, the outlook of economic growth for Ukraine remains weak due to the difficult global economic environment in the country and the ongoing uncertainty related to the conflict in the East. And unless huge reforms are implemented, the situation is not likely to change. To sum up, here's a short video on the current status of economy in Ukraine. Now, according to data provided by the Big Mac Index, Ukraine's currency is the most undervalued in the world. Experts believe that the data portrays Ukraine's economic competitiveness that is in the world. Many in the country blame the government for the economic problems. Press TV's Lena Savchuk has more. According to Big Mac Index, compiled by The Economist, Ukraine's currency hryvnia is the most undervalued in the world. One can buy a burger in Ukraine for 39 hryvnias or $1.57, while in the U.S. it costs $5.04. That means the currency is undervalued by almost 69 percent. Experts say the index portrays hryvnia's competitiveness in the world and gives a general picture of Ukraine's economic situation. Generally, I think that the obvious formula is uh, that this index it shows us the level of weakness of the national currency uh, compared, say, to the U.S. dollar. And at the same time, it shows the risks of uh, the country. The hryvnia devalued three times over the past two years due to the conflict in eastern Ukraine and the drop in global prices of Ukraine's commodities such as metal and grain and a double-digit GDP contraction. Many Ukrainians blame the government for the crisis. The government does not care about the people. The housing rent is increasing. They have higher salaries than we do and they do not care if the dollar rate is low or high. If the government wished, the dollar would have cost five hryvnias. But while their sources continue their racketing and robbing people, the hryvnia will remain undervalued. The inflation slowed down to 6.9% in June, and the central bank expects the economy to grow by 1% this year. Yet this stability will depend on approval of the next IMF tranche this autumn. The hostilities in the east of the country also have a very negative impact on the economy. If there won't be a war, things will improve for sure and the currency will appreciate. If the hostilities escalate, there will be problems with the currency. 
The low purchasing power of Ukraine's currency and cheap labor force should have made the country a magnet for foreign direct investment and put the economy back on track. However, Ukraine's economy hasn't seen any significant FDI inflows yet, as investors keep waiting for real reforms from the government. In Sajuk, Press TV, Kiev.